Okay, welcome back to part two of this Python tutorial. So let's start with the design of the interface. I'm just going to add some components to it. So let's start right away. So I'll deal with the very first frame. The very first frame that I'm talking about, I'm talking about this very one. Let me show it to you. That will be my frame. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so right underneath here, the first thing I like to do is let me create as follows label as my label there, and I want this label to be right inside bottom top left frame button top left this very one copy that and paste it in here okay that means I've just made reference to this frame it's going to be right in there all right the next thing is my font I'm going to set it for the same size area and the size in this case let's make that about 16 now what about the text on it I want some text on it I'm just going to call that name ok let's put that in inside a quote yeah then what about Figure okay, let's just make that black right. The width, I'm going to set to for about 15 and BG border that's let's go for 10. And let's anchor this thing to west. Anchor equals west. Right. The next thing is name. That'll be our name. Let's say dot grade. Just want to assign my role now. So it's going to be in this case the role is going to be row 0 column 0 column equals 0 as well and there ok let's run it and see how this looks like then we can yeah, maybe add a text box yeah there we go that's my label there so I need a text box I'm just going to copy this and change it to text right there and in the case of text it's called entry so there we go change this to txt so that I can know the difference right okay and the row will be zero column is one let me make some minor adjustment here Maybe cut that off. Yeah, I want that. Make that two. And uh, the width. Let's go for the width then. I'm gonna take all of that off. Let's see. Do I still have the width here? Have the width here. Cut that off. And let's make that about twenty-four. Or so now. The next thing, let's go for background color. I want it to be white. Okay, once this is done, I can always just copy and paste then justify. Justify equals left. Okay, so 
let's say text variable I meant to declare that variable though I will declare it anyway equals let's say customer name that's my test variable there and that's all there is to it so this variable it was not declared let's declare it up here somewhere paste it there and say equals let's go for string variable right so if I run this hopefully there should be error let's see and there we go okay so what I'll do now is just copy and hopefully that should speed up things I'm gonna copy this this two copy then paste we don't need a couple of those so this is one and and this one is going to be one zero one yeah that's fine and goes with that this goes with this and this is two So I just need to change the names around. So in this case, the next name that's going to be maybe address. And this is going to be, let's go for postcode. Okay, I'm just going to run this before I. Okay, that's good. Alright. So, what I'll do now is just to speed that up. Okay, guys, I've speed that up. This is how it looks. And let me just show you the lines of codes for that. There we go. Those are the lines of codes. Alright, now I want to take care of. Let me run it and show it to you. I'm gonna take care of one, two, three, number three, this very one. Let's take care of that. Let's copy this and paste it right underneath. I'm gonna call it three. Alright, I'm gonna speed that up as well because let's see, that's supposed to be bottom 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 left this one bottom left bottom left okay so if I copy all of these for now just to see how it looks like then I change it around paste it there and um, but I meant to change this ones to bottom left so let's go for bottom left where is it Copy it. Yeah, this is one. Copy and replace it with this. Let's replace it on. Right. okay but in this case I need to change these labels without we'll change them to let's go for check box I think it's called check button yeah right so let's run it and see how it will look like All right, you see my check button there. Okay, so I'm just gonna change the rest around. All I need to do now is copy this, paste it here, and just change it all around. Okay, then see how it looks. Then we speed that up as well. Right. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to just speed that up, guys. 
Okay. This is how it looks now. Okay. And I've also added two buttons. One is total and the other one is just the receipt button. So have a good look at it. So if I run it. This is how it looks. Okay, but those buttons do nothing. Okay, let's go back and take care of this. Take care of this side. Okay, let's take care of that. That's number two. I'm just going to copy this again. Paste it right underneath here. In the case of the number two, I'm going to need a combo, two combo box, and just number yeah, number two. I'm going to need two combo box and two four labels, four labels, two text box. Okay, guys, that is number two, and that's how the codes look for number two. So have a good look at it. And I'm going to go for number four. Okay, let's copy this and speed that up. I'm going to need two buttons inside number four as well. Okay, let's speed that up. Okay, guys, this is number four. Okay, from here, down here. These are my two buttons. I have Lib L uh, checkbox entry box checkbox entry box as well and labels here. So if I run it and you guys see how it looks like there we go guys that is how it looks like to checkbox labels labels label and all of these are just entry okay none of these are doing anything yet Alright, number five, this very one. That's supposed to be my receipt. So let's take care of that. That shouldn't be difficult. Let's come in here. Down here. Let's get that one sorted. So for number five, we start with LBL receipt. equals label and it's going to be button let's copy this no the button is right here here that's the button I'm using this very one copy that bring it right down and paste it there that's the frame I'm going to be using okay so it's going to have font as well let's copy the font paste the fonts there and I'm, I'm going to need text let's copy this text paste that text right there and change the content inside it to reset let's copy this receipt and dump it right in there yeah that's the reset and what else do we need we need border for it make the border too as well let's copy that paste and I'm going to have to anchor it let's anchor it to the west paste that there alright it's looking good close that now let's copy this I'm just being lazy all right then say grill dot that's going to be rule zero column zero as well let's copy that and paste that in there and just change that around so this is meant to be zero right there Okay, we have that in, in place. Let's make it strictly west. 
equals wisdom right okay now I need a text let's get a text right underneath here STTA and this text is going to be TXC TXC receipt so this one will become one zero okay so let's change the content bottom the frame is bottom right copy and paste this there right what about the whip I'm going to go for let's go for 40 something this is a receipt so let's reduce that border does he have a border let's make it about eight and I'm gonna delete every other thing for now let's delete this and we'll take it from the electron so let's run it and see how it looks like that is it right there okay but I now need to increase let me add height to it right here let's come in here the height I'm going to make that 26 right let's run it and see then this is the there's no arrow here this is the arrow that's entry that's supposed to be text right so let's run it again and see and there we go guys so I can officially say the design of the whole interface is now ready so all that is left for us to do now is to start adding some lines of codes so with that I'm going to call it the end of the second part of this tutorial. See you guys soon.